what's up, y'all? Listen, this, listen, if y'all here for crazy dribble moves, you came to the wrong place. My name is Agent Zero. I shoot the ball. I'm just now learning how to dribble. Listen, okay? We're gonna go on a shoot around. I'm gonna show y'all the dribble moves I like to use. Keep in mind, I'm using the primary playmaker, secondary sharpshooter, which means I can shoot the ball. I got the badges, but I can also dribble and I have a speed boosting technique. So I have a couple techniques I like to use. Some you have to be a speed boosting build for, others you don't. Of course, if you're a speed boosting build, it all, it all helps because the speed with ball is gonna make life a lot easier. So let's get into it. All I wanna do is get myself open. The second I start to do that, it opens up world of opportunities for the rest of my team. That's all I know. So I've been learning the try hard tendencies. I let a Raptor game play. Yo, can we do, all right guys, hold up. Can we extend the my court? Why is it this tiny? How much money I got? I'm an NBA player, I have millions of dollars. I can't get a full ass court. What is this tiny ass court we're playing on? Jeez. All right, back to the video. The first thing you're gonna wanna know how to do is zigzag. I'm sorry to tell you, but sometimes, especially if you're a guy with poor ball handling, players are gonna wanna reach on you. I don't zigzag normally because I'm annoyed when other people do it. It's not that it's not defendable. It's not complicated to defend zigzag. It's just annoying. It's a nuisance. Just moving your left stick back and forth. All the comp players do this. And what does that tell you? It not only is it incredibly easy, there is no risk involved. People can't pick the ball if you're moving back and forth like this, but it's also incredibly effective if you're a pure shark. So that's why you'll see a lot of people using it. People, a lot of people like to say, if you zigzag, you're cheese. But if someone's spamming me on square, even with this build, that's exactly what I start to do. Because if you're dribbling, yada yada, doing all your dribble moves, people can poke the ball loose. I've done it on pure playmakers. If they're way too lax about it, they're gonna pay for it. I don't know why it's that easy to steal the ball this year, especially if you're not a lockdown, but that's just the way it is. So anyway, zigzag should be in your arsenal because there's gonna be a time where you run across a team of bitches and you're gonna wanna zigzag on them just to cheese them. Not because you wanna score it, but just to piss those guys off. And you're gonna wanna be able to know how to do that. Not that it's like a challenging move to learn anyway, but it's just the first one. The second one is between the legs. This is like a, a staple in everybody's book. It should be, but not a lot of people use it. Uh, I use the Kobe between the legs. I'll show you guys my dribble moves in a second. But you literally just flip the ball in the direction you want it to go in between your legs. And you do that between step backs. And I use, my, I use this to boost out. And then if I do a hop, find myself open for a midi, excellent, boom. This one's not complicated, you don't need a tutorial, but just know, even though I can speed boost, I don't abuse speed boost, you'll often catch agent doing moves like this. Because they're simple. So anyway, yeah. There's also another, also really good way to do it. If you have 80, uh, I think you need a 90 ball control to get Elite 26 as one of your dribble moves. If you click, if you flick up on the right stick, you get your whole rhythm dribble. It's almost like doing the between the legs, but you don't have the same flexibility because to get the boost, you have to go in the direction when you're kind of branching out of the gym. So I don't use this often. I only ever use this like if everything else is not working, but it's in my arsenal, bro. It's a cool ass. It's literally the only one I'll use. Like, you see, you see that shit, bro? Step back, hit him with a midi, excellent. So Elite, Elite 26 is probably, at least from what I've seen so far, is probably the most popular rhythm dribble. I'm not entirely sure though. This is one of the most popular rhythm dribbles, that's a fact. The next one is some hippity hop action. Now, you, you don't need a specific one for this, but yo, when you can hippity hop around screens, y'all, you need to be able to hippity hop around screens, get yourself open for a shot. It, it, by itself, it's a useless dribble move because it moves too slow, but it moves fairly quick, very horizontal around a screen. So that's usually where I'll use it. If someone's sending me a screen right there on the top of the key, hippity hop, momentum, boop, and then you combo us together, and there's literally no way you don't find yourself open. Now we're gonna take a brief intermission to show you guys the exact dribble moves I have. You don't need to use these ones. The only one like you need to use to use the stuff I'm talking about this video is the Elite 26 Rhythm Dribble. Aside from that, you could use any hippity hop you want. That's just the one I like because it feels like it gives me the most amount of hippity hop action. And that's what I like to see in the dribble move. So these are dribble moves. Uh, you can copy them down if you want. Uh, pause the video at some point if you're interested in that. Uh, the, between the legs I do is coming straight out of a Kobe Bryant. So if you guys see it, it's exactly what it should look like. But that exact move he does there, I don't like using that one right there. I don't really mess with that one. So I like to combo between the legs with the regular crossover or between the legs with the behind the back. Uh, I, I, won't, I don't use Jamal Crawford as much, although like I probably should. You could really just momentum off of that. but And you could use that around screens. That'd be some cheese too. And I think it hits ankle breakers as well. So it's a neat move. All right, let's say I'm doing Jamal Crawford. Bop, bop, momentum, boop. Bop, bop, bop. So it's, it's like, you know, it all works together, right? I don't use Jamal Crawford though. If I'm making a video about dribble moves I use, I rarely use that. Now, the next one, of course, is momentum. You need A6 ball control for this at least. Y'all should all know how to do 
this. Like, it's pretty simple dribble move. Let's say you guys see my controller here, all right? For those wondering, this is a control freak. It just adds like an, it's, I use it for shooters, but I got used to it, so I keep it on for 2K. I move the right stick in the direction I wanna go to, which since my ball is in my right hand, I'm moving to the left, momentum. So I go right, and then I go the same direction with my left, and then I hold turbo. So it's, it's literally as, as simple as you can get with a dribble move. Like, I just have it on in the background while I watch my Raptor games, and easy and it's incredibly effective I don't abuse it because once you do it too much it becomes predictable but let's say somebody gets used to momentum I just add it behind the back the same animation you use to get this right here you back on the right stick and up on the left stick so momentum back on the right oh I'm not gonna do it right in my own dribble move video here we go Woo! all right and then you get yourself open for a shot that behind the back move I just did right there is my favorite move by far it's like there's no realistic way to defend that unless you just have a teammate in the direction that I'm going to. All right, let's say I'm over here right now. Momentum this way, boop. I'm out by the top. And it's so fast, it's so difficult to stay in front of. And it triggers if you have ankle breaker. This is the biggest trigger in my experience with ankle breakers. So not only are you gonna cook some ankles, but it's, it, it, previously it felt like a fancy move. Why do all of that? But you get to the spot so quick. On top of that, when you get to the spot, your feet are planted after the step back. It's such a simple move to get yourself open because on regular step backs, especially because they removed the step back animation this year, you used to be able to just click back on the right stick and do a step back. But this year, the hesitation moves aren't really that good. And so it's really the best move to get around. If you're talking about getting yourself open for a shot, point blank period, this is the best way to do it. I like to mix it in with other dribble moves because if he expects I'm gonna do momentum behind the back, he's gonna meet me right there. So next time I do it, I'm gonna be at the top of the key. I'm gonna just do a hippity hop or a regular momentum, whatever the case is. The more you switch it up, it's no real way for him to stay in front, especially if the whole time I'm doing this, you have a screen right there to help you out. Boom, if he hits the screen, it's game, set, match, done, they need help. Even if you end up getting defended, that means the teammate's wide open for a shot. So it's a lovely thing, man, right? So, I mean, I, yo, there's videos on the internet. I'll link one in the description if you guys are interested and you don't know how to do it, but it's a pretty simple move. Like, at the end of the day, I'm a shooter. That's what I like to do. So all this dribble moves, if it's not to get me open for a shot, I'm not doing it. Except for when somebody pisses me off and I'm, the express purpose of what I do is to drop them off. You know what I mean? But those are rare circumstances where somebody's talking smack and I feel like they need to be put in their place. Is there anything else? Step backs? Like, y'all know how to do step backs. Hold back on the left stick and click square. I use this often. People don't use it this year. Some people use it on mid-ranges, but it works very well. In the, if someone passes me the ball, I'm right here. What are you doing? Are you pulling off for a long two? What kind of basketball player are you, man? Use the Mike D'Antoni method. Threes and dunks, that's it. You can hold turbo and click back on the right stick and you'll get this move. Now, it's not as good as the moves you got last year, which is a little bit frustrating that they took out good animations from last year. No clue why. And I use this one anytime I can, but for whatever reason, sometimes, let's say, uh, give me the ball in this hand. Let's say I do the momentum cross behind the back. Boop. If I don't want to do that move right there, the regular ass move, I can also hold back on the left stick away from the hoop and click square and it'll give me a step back animation. And it won't make you pick up your dribble if you do it correctly and you'll get open for a shot. You'll see me do this on the corner more often than not, but on regular, like on wings, like you'll see me just do hold turbo while I do it. So the only difference is this one isn't really too effective, but you'll see me using it. Boop. And then here I use the step back. The step back you can turn over with. So if someone's smothering you, just don't step back in their face because trust me, I've had my fair share of turnovers trying to do this. And you could also hippity hop in opposite directions. Obviously wait on the shot so you don't go up for an ugly shot. That's about it, man. Some of it's just super simple stuff. If you don't know how to step back like this, boom. If you don't know how to momentum cross into this, boom. If you don't know how to hippity hop action to get yourself around screens, boom. And especially when you have screens around. Sometimes you don't even need your moves. You can just do this around the screen. You can do one of these over here. <laughs> and then let's say you take all of that stuff right there and you combine it with the deadliest shot on the game. Yo, guys, is there anything more frustrating than trying to chase a, a ball on the my court? Like, just, is there someone that could pass me the ball? Why am I walking? I'm, who am I? I'm an NBA player. You tell me I can't call a trainer on my phone tell him to pass me a ball to shoot around with? Jeez, just getting the balls on my court is frustrating. Anyway, just agent with first world problems. Hey, I'll leave it on that. If you guys enjoy, subscribe. Make sure to drop a like. Do all that good stuff. <sighs> agent made a dribble move video. It's 2017, y'all. Things have really progressed. I didn't think in my life I'd be making a dribble move video. But 
Uh, it's not being fancy, bro. It's just getting shots up. So if you enjoy, do all the good stuff. I'm going to catch you guys later. Click the videos on the screen right now. All right? They're good videos, okay? If you haven't watched them already, why not? Am I right? Catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace. Jeez, my voice is in pain.